<sighs> Hello. I'm gonna show you how I make a song from the ground up. So first, I like to start with the drums. So we can go ahead and record a drum part. Click set one one here. All right. Oh, I'll see you in an hour. You're a cutie. You're a cutie. So far, this is what I have. And that's just going to loop forever. Alright, I got the sound I like, so now I'm just going to freestyle in a melody that sounds good. So I'm going to hit record and just go for it. I don't like the way that the chords are interacting with the melody. I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm going to try some new chords. So far we have this. Again, I don't like the chords, so I'm going to re-record them. Now I don't like the bass sound, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it and record something else. I don't like that sound anymore either, so I'm going to change this one up. I'm just going to take the chords, shift them up a couple octaves, and then put an arpeggiator on them to create my pluck pattern I'm looking for. So at this point, I'm thinking, what do I want this thing to sound like? How do I want the like chorus or the main part to sound? Do I want it to be a drop? You know, this is when you can be really creative with your song. You don't have to follow any formulaic thing, you can do whatever you want. It's good to have things changing every four bars because that's kind of, you know, if you're recording in 4-4, four, four, you're kind of expecting that change naturally and it makes the song flow a whole lot more. Add a four on the floor kick for the intro. I think this song is a little too fast when I'm going for it, so I'm going to slow it down. I think 140 would be good. So right now I'm starting to get a little fatigued working on this, listening to it over and over. And if that ever happens, it's okay to take a break and it will be beneficial for your creativity. So I'm going to take a, take a break and I'm going to come back to it. So far I've put some vocal chops in here and I have chopped up the main like chorus area and I'll show you what it sounds like right now. So that's what I got so far. Uh, this vocal chop was just a loop I had and I just chopped it up to match with how I chopped up the chorus area. And I added some impacts here and some reverse impacts to kind of smooth the transitions between the parts. And I'm gonna work on this some more and I'll get back to you when it's a little bit more completed. All right, so right now I have my intro done, which is this this part right here and then we have it going into like the main chorus area and then it kind of quiets down 
and then it builds back up into the chorus area again and then we have the outro so all together right now it sounds something like this Right. And I took these end packs and I I made them so it would introduce new sections of the song. So like right now, I have the tempo dropping, and then I have the impact to bring in the chorus. Uh, for these vocals on this part, I have a beat repeat on there. To give it that glitchiness in this kind of bridge area. Again, I drop the tempo, then bring it back up to build more tension in the song. And then it just repeats, you know, you got the, the same part you heard over here, only I put in uh, these chords. And then the, the outro is just this. Alright, so that's pretty much done. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and mix it. You know, put things, pan things uh, left and right, make it sound fuller. And then I'm going to give you the end result so you can listen to it without me rambling over the track. Yeah.